everyone welcome to you all in my another video and today we are going to discuss about industrial pharmacist jobs in australia and how much they are, they, uh, they are getting you know so in my previous video there's a four videos i made that uh, about industrial pharmacist if you are one of the pharmacists and it is not just the pharmacist i mean it must be like you are working in any of the uh, manufacturing plant like tablet or uh, injectable or uh, you know but of that that you are working last three years in a pharmaceutical industry like r d or maybe qa qc or whatever the department and you are looking to market to australia so i already make two four videos and i already keep the link in this video in in the description so you can watch that video so here uh, mostly i'm going to discuss about the salary what's the salary for industrial pharmacist and if you're comparing with pharmacist uh, industrial pharmacist salary to a community pharmacist or a or a hospital pharmacist who is getting more um, more salary so it is very very easy process if you are industrial pharmacist you can directly you can migrate to australia and um, there is no need to write any exam as compared to if you are a pharmacist hospital pharmacist or community pharmacist you have to write the exam and you have to go for internship and another you have to write two exams you know, so that that process is very tough as compared to this pharmacy is very straight away you can watch my previous videos about that but if you are looking for a salary on an average it's about 68 dollar per hour salary in australia and we can say it's like hundred thousand you know this is like entry-level job so if you are looking at entry-level job so suppose if you are a graduate from india and you have three year experience and you migrate to australia so at least your salary will be start as about 100,000 yearly, you know. It can be uh, higher. So, you know, uh, this is also based on uh, to a city to city, a little bit higher or, or lower. So salary is very, very good because if you are going in a, in a community pharmacist, it's like a $33 per hour and, uh, you know, uh, so salary is very low in community pharmacy. Even in the hospital pharmacy, if you want to work, it's very, very tough, you know. So industrial pharmacist basically is a very um, uh, easy route if you are you have already experienced uh, three year experience and you are looking to market to australia you know so we can say it's like you know they are paying 69 dollar per hour and uh, we see here in the the bonus also they give the 3300 dollar bonus yearly and uh, for industrial pharmacists so this data is basically is for the canberra canberra is a, uh, the capital of australia so it is a very small city it just you know whatever the government you know the people are working and do that there's the industry so you know it is it, near to the uh, sydney but if you come in sydney and melbourne there is more opportunities more of the companies are, are, are there so if we see here the salary estimate based on Australia and anti-level pharmacist one to three years and uh, so anti-level job means that at least they have one to three year experience. They are calculating in Australia. So if you are in Australia and you are Australian graduate, uh, B form or M form, if you want to work in industry, your salary will be about hundred thousand. But if you are overseas pharmacist and you are marketing to Australia, you also will be start from here only. You know. So the basically the main problem if you are uh, coming from overseas, uh, you know, to find a job because you do not have any local experience, so they will consider your it's like you are going to start from zero, you know. So your salary is still very high, it's like hundred thousand, you know. So and on average, the growth after eight years, your salary will be one fifty k, it's like one eighty three. This is like you know, this go art ke dus sal ka experience in industrial pharmacy. Must be salary one lakh eighty thousand dollar per yearly. Hai ye ye data bata hai apna kya na? Or agar ham wahi compare karein, someone is working in hospital or someone is working in community, so the salary will be like hundred thousand, one twenty, one ten. You know, not that much growth. Yeah, in those chapters, but industry is a very good scope. So, but the problem is in Australia that is not very, uh, not so many companies are manufactured here yet. So, mostly if you are have experience, especially like a TG approved a plant. So, some of the Indian company what they did, they uh, they just export or import, you know, the export to the Australia, and you are working one of the plant, for example, Cipla and Vocard and you know, uh, Renvexi and those are the, the big companies. They are always manufacture in India, 
and they export to Australia. So if you have one of the plant, you have experience, so it is easy for you to get job in in Australia as an industrial pharmacist. You know, so you know, so the salary is very good. You know, in Australia, yeah, they are getting a hundred thousand from a starting, and it can be very high. You know, as compared to the and. Uh, uh, you can watch my previous videos. What is the uh, process to migrate to Australia as an industrial pharmacist? And um, another thing, uh, this is not necessary. The industrial pharmacist is like you have a pharmacy degree. Some of them like uh, have a life science degree, like microbiology, biochemistry. They also have a working experience in pharmaceutical industry. They also they may also eligible to for this. Uh, uh job as a working as an industrial pharmacist so this this is basically a life science and pharmacy graduate they are eligible for working as an industrial pharmacist in australia and please like my videos and subscribe so i can make more videos for you and please uh, leave a comment and if you uh, want to make me a, a new video on any new topic or something you know and uh, thank you for watching this video mm -hmm.